Well, now, look what you made me do. <laughs> Those kind strangers willing to give a ride to my frightened pet. Tragic, really. They were only doing what they thought was right, after all. Still, they should have known better than to steal a Spiderkin's property. I think they've learned their lesson now. Don't you? Did you miss me, little butterfly? Clearly, some part of you wish to be found. Otherwise, it would have been more difficult. But making me go out in sunlight, that's awfully inconsiderate of you. Shh, 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 shh. Let's not struggle, shall we? I'd hate to scar that skin of yours any more than necessary. It would ruin the pretty patterns I've spent so long etching. It's all right. Let's just stay nice and calm, shall we? If nothing else, you provided me with a good hunt. That is worthy of praise. Yes, it seems your kindly coach driver was quite skilled. He managed to avoid capture for longer than anticipated. I do so love sport. Don't you? Are you scared, little one? Did you forget just what I am? I show you a modicum of kindness, and you take it for weakness. Think yourself free to escape my cave. You are sorely mistaken, I fear. Mm. I have allowed your leash to grow rather slack. I thought the move from the jungle to a more peaceful location would lessen this stubborn streak within you. But I see now that you are more likely to respond to the stick rather than the carrot. So tell me, little butterfly, why should I keep you around after you put me through such an ordeal? I could find another squeeze within a matter of days. And it seems you may be less effort as a meal. Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose I can offer you another chance. <laughs> Here I thought your spirit was broken. Clearly there is so much more to do with you. Now let's brush the hair from your face. You seem to have gotten a little messy in the crash. Stay still, my dear, or my fingers may slice that soft skin. You'd think after all this time you would have learned your place, and you were doing so well, but perhaps that was just to lure me into a false sense of security? That is very unbecoming of someone so delicate. There is still so much I have to learn about you. So much to study. Dissect. After all, my previous pets were broken so quickly, and then they were just boring meat. But you, no, there's something about you. A fixation that I can't let go of. You're special, my perfect prince.
precious butterfly. But in case you think that makes you immune to punishment, let me reassure you. A fire may enjoy the company of a moth, but they will still burn them alive if the moth gets too close. Oh, did I just nick your neck? I'm so sorry, little pet. Here, let me clean that up. I must say you taste far better than that coach driver and those other passengers. So mundane and bland. Nothing like you. Now why are you looking at me like that, little butterfly? Do I scare you? Do you think me a monster? Maybe a little bit of fear will incentivize you to stay where you need to. I'm going to take you back to the cave where you belong. And then I'm going to string you up like a puppet and mold you move you to my desired positions. I am, at my heart, an artist, and I've been letting you get away with far too much. I need you to see that you are simply a model for me, a plaything, and nothing more. I don't want you to fear me. I want you to worship me. See me for the wonder I am. Oh, that defiance behind the eyes. The beautiful eyes. What do you see when you look into mine? Behind that brash exterior, and that puffed out chest, and those thoughts of escape. Predator eyes, monster eyes. I could carve you up where you stood. How does that make you feel, knowing you are completely at my mercy. You really thought that you could get away so easily. And now all that blood, all those lives, I don't feel guilt for them. But you do. No one else can have you. No one else can even gaze upon you. You are mine. Eternally. Ultimately. And no one else will ever appreciate you more than I. Perhaps your wings need to be clipped, little butterfly, so that you needn't think of flying away again. A little bit of punishment to make sure that you suffer just enough. Yes. Good. So, I think we should head back to the cave now. The sunlight is doing nothing for me, except burning me out. So, 
why did I attach this collar around your neck? attached to some webbing in my hand, just to make sure you don't think of wandering off again. Oh, it'll be just like old times. I missed you an awful lot. Artwork in this video was by Veep. Thank you so much.